Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education Video Series. You know, for those kids who like to build things, we have a three-dimensional castle die. Here is the die. Actually, that's the castle. Here's the die. When you look at it, you can see that this one piece has a tab on it and it allows you to cut as many as you want to create whatever size castle you want. The turret section is in thirds with a tab and it lets you do the same thing. Attach as many as you want depending on how many sides you want that turret to have. This becomes the roof and once again, it's the same process. In fact, let me turn this over and I'll show you. Here is the roof and when you look at it inside, you can see all the overlaps in order to create a roof that has the number of sides to go with the turret. In this example, let me pull one of these open and you'll see what I mean. This is actually two of the turrets together and since there's three sides it ends up creating a six-sided turret but you may have a student who wants several three-sided turrets or maybe they want to make four-sided and overlap more than just that one little tab the beauty of this system is that it's up to them to decide how they want it to look how they want it to function and if I pull this out you can see the same is true of the castle this is the one section cut four times and I just left the drawbridge up in all the other surfaces just in the one I have it down so that they can escape whenever they need to so and then I have a matching turret on the other side of course your kids can build castles with two turrets they can have six turrets it's the beauty of making it yourself is you get to decide you know your students are going to love designing three-dimensionally and celebrating kings and queens and the castles in which they live